Hey everyone, today I'm filming a short video on pivot tables, um, what they are, what their purpose is, and how you can create your first one. So on a very high level, what a pivot table is, is just a way to summarize data quickly. Um, you don't want to be doing a lot of scratch work and you know possibly make a mistake if you're trying to figure out things one at a time. We want to take an entire data set, crunch the numbers, and figure out the answer. And when you get more data that you're working with, the you know scaling up your formulas just isn't going to work in the long term. So we want to learn how to do it with small data sets first. Right here we have a hypothetical YouTube channel that has pranks and vlogs, and they each have a certain number of views associated with that video. We want to figure out how many views each type of video got during this period. So we can do that with the pivot table. Since our data is organized properly with headers at the top and the metrics below, or the data below, um, Excel will automatically know that that data is all connected. So here we've created our pivot table. We have the builder on the right side. The views is the metric we want to analyze. So most of the time, the metric you want to analyze, whether it's sales or views or revenue, etc., is going to go in the values box. Then we want to slice the data or cut the data based on the type of video. And that's why it's organized that way in our data so that we can do this later on. Let's organize this a little better or format it better. So now we can see vlogging made up significantly more views for this time period as compared to pranks. This is a short introduction to pivot tables. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.